I think that AI will be a technological revolution on the scale of the agricultural, the industrial computer revolution. Wrap your head around what that AI chat GPT tool can do. Well, get ready to be even more overwhelmed because the San Francisco startup OpenAI just dropped an even newer version of GPT. They're calling it GPT-4. This version of the chatbot is more precise and get this, it puts up better scores. Let's take a look at OpenAI before we go to Sam Altman. OpenAI, the company which released the chatbot GPT-4, and it has become talk of the town since it released a highly incredible language model in the form of GPT-4. GPT-4 which was released just a couple of months ago had already taken the internet by storm and is considered one of the fastest growing user applications in the history of the internet. The app hit 100 million users in a few months while TikTok took 9 months to reach 100 million users and Instagram took 3 years to reach this milestone. In this video, we are gonna talk about Sam Altman, OpenAI CEO and mastermind behind AI. Samuel Harris Altman is an American programmer, investor, and an entrepreneur. He is the CEO of Looped and OpenAI since he co-founded them. Moreover, he also co-founded WorldCoin in 2020 and has got major shares in numerous technology companies. Altman was born to a Jewish family and brought up in St. Louis, Missouri, and his mother is a well-known dermatologist. He got his first computer at the age of eight. He went to John Burroughs High School and studied computer science at Stanford University until he dropped out in 2005. Right after dropping out from university, Altman co-founded and became CEO of Looped at just the young age of 19. Looped is a mobile-based social networking mobile application which raised almost 30 million US dollars before it was shut down in 2012. Looped was acquired by the Green Dot Corporation for 43.4 million US dollars. Here are some interesting facts about Sam. Altman has been a gay since his teen years. He dated his colleague at Look for nine years before they broke up. As of 2023, he is dating Oliver Mulherin, an Australian engineer. GLAAD, Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, awarded Altman with Rick Wyland Awards for promoting LGBTQ community and acceptance in the technology sector. Altman is a super visionary and innovative and has got shares across a number of companies including Reddit, Pinterest, Teespring, Farmlogs, True North, Clever, Notable PDF and Retro Biosciences etc. He became the CEO of Reddit, a social news website for 8 days in 2014 when CEO Ishan Wong resigned. Altman started as a part-time partner at Y Combinator in 2011. He was named president of the company by its founder. Y Combinator is an American startup which funds and invests in many technology corporations and companies. Altman predicted successfully the valuation of Y Combinator companies surpassed 65 billion US dollars till 2014 which includes the well-known companies like Zenefits, Stripe, Dropbox etc. After taking over the presidentship, Altman announced to expand Y Combinator to fund almost 1,000 new companies per year. He even tried to expand the types of companies such as hard technology funded by Y Combinator. Altman was named as the top investor under 30 by Forbes in 2015. He was also named Best Young Entrepreneur in Technology by Business Magazine in 2008. He was also listed as one of the five most interesting startup founders between the period of 1979 and 2009 by Paul Graham. Altman also got an honorary doctorate of engineering from University of Waterloo for supporting smaller companies. However Altman got the fame through OpenAI. He is currently the CEO of OpenAI, a research company co-founded by Elon Musk and whose goal is to advance general artificial intelligence to tackle the problems of humanity. It was launched in 2015 and raised 1 billion US dollars from outside funders. OpenAI has been into the headlines since 2021 since it launched DAL, which is a deep learning model and creates digital images from textual or natural languages. In 2022, it brought innovation and launched GPT-3 and 4. GPT-4 is going to take artificial intelligence to new heights. 
The conversational bot, which is 500 times faster than its previous version has already been making headlines with its updated and latest features. GPT-4 will have around 100 trillion parameters. That's over 500 times larger than GPT-3. These large language models are trained to perform human-like functions and help them in their daily tasks. In a candid conversation with David Muir on ABC, Altman was of the view that though not entirely perfect, GPT-4 secured 90% in the bar exam. It also passed the SAT math test and US medical licensing tests. It can even write computer codes in most programming languages like Java and Linux etc. Expressing his concerns about misinformation, Altman was of the view that GPT-4 has much improvements as compared to the previous version. IT can solve the complicated problems with much accuracy and precision. But GPT-4 is still in the research phase and it needs improvements. The only fear which Altman has about GPT-4 and other language models is misinformation. These deep learning models can provide users with factually inaccurate information sometimes. OpenAI is working tirelessly to make it efficient and useful for humanity. The model itself, can it take the place of that human? Could it become more powerful than that human? It waits until someone gives it an input. This is a tool that is very much in human control. He was of the view that human intelligence is unlimited while these chatbots are merely trained to perform with pre-fed data. GPT-4 has sent a wave of shock among the academia who are fearful of losing their jobs. It has become controversial in the field of education as students use it to cheat and pass exams unfairly. It also kills creativity and students don't learn by themselves rather they rely on these chatbots to pass the exams. Altman and co. want you to use GPT as a co-pilot which could help you solve complicated problems and write computer codes. We can have that for every profession, and we can have a much higher quality of life, like standard of living, Altman said. But we can also have new things we can't even imagine today, so that's the promise. The reason to develop AI at all is that I, I believe this will be, uh, in terms of impact on our lives and improving our lives and upside, this will be the, the greatest technology humanity has yet developed. Altman is not only an intelligent engineer, but a kind and benevolent human being as well. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he helped the researchers to launch clinical trials in partnership with TrialSpark, a clinical trial startup. During the recent collapse of Silicon Valley Bank SVB, Altman gave money to many affected startups in order to bail them out of the crisis. There were also rumors that Altman would run for the governor of California in the 2018 election, which he didn't. Instead, he launched his own political movement, the United Slate, which aimed at fixing houses and healthcare policies.